Hi, this is Tim Coulter. I'm head of the Indian Law Resource Center. It's been a great week for indigenous people's rights because New Zealand, one of the four countries that voted against the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, announced at the UN that it's changed its mind and it's going to endorse the UN Declaration. This is great because we're seeing that countries all over the world are embracing this Declaration of Human Rights, this historic change in the way countries treat indigenous peoples. And it's wonderful that one of the countries that was most adamant in its uh, opposition has changed its mind and has become positive. The second really nice piece of news is that the United States has announced that it is reviewing its position. The United States was one of those four countries that voted against the UN Declaration. And the United States has now announced that it's reviewing that position to determine if it can change the position and if it can endorse the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. It's also reviewing its position concerning the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. That declaration is being negotiated in the Organization of American States. The United States recently has been dragging its feet and has dropped out of those negotiations, and that's been terrible. Well, the United States is reviewing that position, and we hope they'll change their mind and re-engage in those negotiations. It's a great step forward, but we're going to have to keep pressure on the United States government to get them to actually change their position. Indian nations and Alaska Native nations from all over this country have been just unified in demanding that this country endorse the UN Declaration and the OAS, American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Nearly all Indian nations and Alaska Native nations have told the Obama administration that they want to see the United States endorse these declarations. It's that kind of unified demand that can really bring about good change, and I'm glad to see it. There's no reason that this country can't accept these rights. There's no reason that this country can't do better than it's doing now. You know, respecting the rights of indigenous peoples, it doesn't mean that this country's going to have to give everything back to the Indians. That's just old mythology. That's not the case. This country can respect the rights of Indian nations and Alaska Native nations and natives of Hawaii, too, without doing anything terrible or anything that would harm anyone. It's going to be good for everyone if we respect indigenous people's rights. So I'm glad to see these announcements this week. It's very encouraging, and it just tells me that we as indigenous organizations and as indigenous nations are going to have to keep up the work. We're going to have to keep going and see that these changes are really put into effect and see that these international human rights are actually implemented.